Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, Obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And of course, if you have a success story like to share. We love hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the program, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order all the longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn all all the thank you checks and tax benefits associated with having your own business and make your own hours, work out of the home. If you're an entrepreneur or you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, you might want to think about the longevity business, especially if health or nutrition or the health and nutrition strategies that Dr. Wallach promotes, that I promote, have helped you or a loved one, and you want to help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money at the same time. Yongevity might just be for you. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a Yongevity business. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for more information, 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And then finally, I'd like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products. If you're looking for really active skincare products that will truly make a difference and a quick difference on your skin in the short term as well as in the long term, that's one of the neat things about using active vitamins topically is results accrue. They get better and better over time. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with generous amounts of vitamin C, as well as vitamin A, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, surfactants, oil, silicon, water, preser uh, fragrances, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want ever in our Truth Skin Health products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We've been talking cholesterol and statin drugs. It really, all of this has to do with uh, NAC, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, the building block of glutathione, the body's master detoxifier. These two elements exemplify how powerful the body is and how important the biochemistry of the body is, healthy biochemistry is, when it comes to dealing with chronic health illnesses. The body is well-equipped to deal with challenges, but it needs raw materials. It needs raw materials to build glutathione, it needs things like N-acetylcysteine, the B-complex, really all the things we talk about on this program. And the idea that you just make too much cholesterol and that will shut down the production of cholesterol using a drug, 
it's really self-serving nonsense. Self-serving for the drug companies, the, the companies that make all the money selling us these things, and nonsense because it really is a crazy notion that you can somehow shut down your body's chemistry and be better off for it. I got the package insert for, uh, uh, for Lipitor here. Package insert, by the way, comes with all drugs, comes to the pharmacy with all drugs. And if you're on a prescription drug, you might want to ask your pharmacist for the package insert. And um, pharmacists don't like giving you the package insert. And doctors certainly don't like you to look at the package insert. The package insert's got all the adverse reactions associated with a given prescription drugs. And I pulled this one off of... Uh, I pulled the prescription, uh, the package insert off of the uh, uh, off the internet for the drug Lipitor, which is the best selling of all the statin drugs. And you see things like uh, adverse reactions, like malaise, pyrexia, which means fever, abdominal discomfort, flatulence, hepatitis, musculoskeletal pain, muscle fatigue, neck pain, joint swelling, liver fu- uh, abnormal liver liver function tests creatine phosphokinase, that's a marker of kidney health, increases and liver health. Nightmares, urticaria, that means itching, tinnitus, blurred vision, changes in your white blood cell count. I mean, this, this is craziness, folks. Now, it's not saying that everybody who takes a statin drug is going to have an adverse reaction, but if you have a, a so-called therapeutic aid, a medicine that, cr- that creates all of this potential, at least toxicity, is this something you really want to take, especially considering the fact that this, uh, the biochemical changes that are associated with taking this prescription drug really have very little to do with heart disease? Now, if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, hopefully you know that cholesterol is a critical biochemical whose production is only shut down or suppressed at the risk of also suppressing vital, critical, healthy biochemistry that plays a really important role in health and longevity. Cholesterol is basically estrogen and testosterone and cortisol and vitamin D. All of these are your growth, repair, stress management, uh, building hormones. And cholesterol is in essence them. Suppressing cholesterol means suppressing your testosterone. If you're a guy and you're taking your, uh, you're taking uh, a a, a, a Mevacor, Lipitor, a statin type of drug that suppresses your testosterone, you're going to be less guy. You're going to be less masculine. If you're a female, you're going to suppress your estrogen. You're going to suppress your body's ability to handle stress as well, men and women, and also vitamin D. Cholesterol is a growth and repair substance. Cholesterol, as we talked yesterday with our guest as an anti-inflammatory substance. Cholesterol is important for skin health, for brain health, for muscle health. Taking a statin drug is going to impair all of these benefits, all of these functions to one degree or another. And if you're already sick and you're taking a statin drug, that makes it worse. Statin drugs deplete the body of coenzyme Q10, which is incredibly important for liver health as well as for heart health. And of course, statin drugs, like all drugs, have to be detoxified. They will cost you glutathione. They will cost you B-complex, the the B-complex. They'll cost you magnesium. They'll cost you copper. They'll cost you nutrients that are required to process and to detoxify the drug that you're taking, supposedly, to get healthier. And your medical professional really wants you to take these things? What kind of doctor is going to suggest these things? Statin drugs are associated with diabetes. This is so significant that the FDA mandates a warning be placed on the bottle. So when the pharmacist gets the bottle, it says right there, may cause diabetes. And diabetes itself is a cause of heart disease. So you take a drug for your heart disease, it increases your risks of diseases that can cause heart disease. That that really, that highlights the absolute ludicrous nature of using drugs to get better or using drugs to get healthy. You take a statin drug, which is linked to diabetes, which causes heart disease, and you're taking the statin drug for heart disease. Statins are also associated with kidney disease. From WebMD, this is a quote, people who take high doses of popular cholesterol-lowering drugs called statins may be more likely to develop kidney problems, a new study suggests. Specifically, those those participants who took higher doses of statins were 34% more likely to be hospitalized for acute kidney injury during the first 120 days of therapy compared to their counterparts taking lower doses of drugs. The more drugs you take, the more likely, the more statins you take, the more likely you are to end up in a hospital because of kidney problems. They go on to say the risk remained elevated two years after starting treatment. These findings appeared online in the British Medical Journal. Unquote. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. Gun lines open for you, and we will be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back. 
back on the bright side. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here, here today, if you're on statin drugs and want to wean yourself off of those, we can help you. If you have heart, heart health challenges, cardiovascular disease, you want to prevent it, we can help you there as well. Nutritional supplementation can go a long way towards protecting the heart, a super high energy organ in the body along with the brain. Along with the brain, the skin, the immune system, uh, the digestive system, these are fast moving systems and all of these, the heart, the, uh, the nervous system, the immune system, the digestive system, and the skin benefit tremendously and quickly from a good nutritional supplement program. <laughs> Excuse me from a good nutritional supplement program. If you're interested, give us a shout. We can help you, 844-236-6010. We can tell you how you can use your longevity products as well, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or business, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've been talking stand drugs. I'm not going to talk about these anymore after today, but it's just such an important subject, I believe, considering the medical representatives of the medical model want everybody over the age of 60 or even over the age of 50 to be on statin drugs, just prophylactically, just preventively. The idea of using drugs as a prevention, even when you're not sick, just blows me away. Medicalization is one thing, but this pharmaca pharmacalization, where we're all pharmacated, we're all drugged just to prevent disease. This is absurdity, absolute absurdity. And remember, folks, heart disease is kind of a recent phenomenon. There were no statin drugs 200 years ago, but there wasn't really a lot of heart disease. Heart disease didn't become an epidemic until uh, pretty much the middle part of the 20th century. In the early part of the 20th century, there wasn't even a word for heart attack until like 1910 or 1915. What happened at the beginning of the 20th century? Processed foods, especially processed fats, junk foods, sugar-laden foods, cereals for breakfast, cigarette smoking. These are all the real reasons why you have heart disease. Cholesterol? Are you kidding me? Too much cholesterol? We didn't have medicalization before, uh, before 1940 or 1950, and yet heart disease was unheard of until pretty much you know, the middle part or the, the, uh, the second, maybe the, the, the 1940s, I'd say. 1940s or 1950s is when heart disease really started to go through the roof, and cancer for that matter, too. So the cholesterol hypothesis flawed, nonsensical, but there are strategies you can use to protect your heart, lots of them, and none of them uh, involve going to see your doctor, your pharmacist, or any other rep uh, representative of the medical model. They're all lifestyle based. For one thing, build connective tissue. When was the last time you heard about connective tissue or the health of your connective tissue being associated with the health of your blood or the health of your circulation, the health of your heart? The, connect, the heart sits on a skeleton, a framework of connective tissue. The heart is covered with a coating of connective tissue. Connective tissue feeds cells. This is so important. The word for connective tissue, or one of the words to describe connective tissue is matrix. Matrix means womb. The connective tissue is a womb for cells. The connective tissue nourishes cells. The connective tissue is where toxicity builds up. Could it be that our epidemic of heart disease has to do with defective connective tissue that is lining the heart or, or a connective tissue that is supporting the heart? Could it be that arrhythmias and, fibril and fibril fibrillation, atrial fibrillation or ventricular fibrillation, which is basically a shaking of the heart, could it be that these are more the result of deteriorating connective tissue? Well, considering our connective tissue breaks down anyway as we get older, I'd say it's a pretty good chance. This might be why vitamin C is so darn important for the heart. Animals make their own vitamin C and they pretty much don't get heart disease because they make their own vitamin C. Human beings don't make vitamin C, but dogs do and squirrels do and goats do and cats do and, and rabbits do and horses do. They don't have heart disease really. You know, not, certainly not to the extent that human beings do. Could it be that a heart disease is a connective tissue defect? It, uh, or the result of a connective t tissue defect. I'd say the odds are way more possible than it has anything to do with cholesterol. Build connective tissue, use vitamin C, exercise strategies, 
Make sure you're using your ultimate EFAs and magnesium. All of these are connected tissue building strategies that are much more valuable for heart health than any statin drug, and you don't have to go to a doctor to, do, to employ these. Laying off the sugar, there's probably nothing, nothing more important than uh, for your heart health than laying off of sugar and refined carbohydrates and using nutrients that help the body process these. Laying off processed fats, calorie restriction, reducing stress hormone, cortisol, relaxation, activation of uh, the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, deep breathing. Do you hear the need for a doctor with any of these measures? Do you hear the need for the medical model with any of these measures? No, this is all about lifestyle. And that is power, people. That is our power. That is our strength. That is how we can be healthy independent of intervention, independent of drug intervention, independent of medical intervention on our own. This is such good news if you're dealing with any chronic long-term health challenge. Then there's the whole homocysteine connection. And homocysteine is a, a biochemical that builds up in the body under conditions of long-term inflammation and stress and nutritional deficiency. The homocysteine hypothesis of heart disease has been known about for 50 years, but it really started to gain traction somewhere in the 1990s. Now, according to the Council of Responsible Nutrition, 30 to 40% of people with cerebrovascular, that's brain health, brain blood health, and, and peripheral artery disease, that's, that's circulation issues, have elevated homocysteine. Homocysteine changes the structure of blood vessels. It decreases their flexibility. It increases the likelihood of inflammation in the blood. That is sticky blood. Now, I have to, you know, clearly it's, it's not fair to blame heart disease on homocysteine, and it is a little controversial still, but the fact is that homocysteine is a powerful and pro-inflammatory molecule that has been linked to lots of health challenges, not just cardiovascular health challenges, especially Alzheimer's disease, which is a type of circulatory disease perhaps. So if you really want to protect your heart, here's the bottom line. If you really want to protect your heart, if you had a heart attack, you don't want a second one. If you want to keep your heart healthy, if you're young and you don't want to take a chance on getting heart disease, there's lots of ways to do it without having to go to the doctor, without having to be put on a statin drug. First of all, and this should come as no surprise to anybody who's been listening to this program for any length of time, first of all, backtrack to the triangle of disease, always. The triangle of disease, the three points of bodily breakdown that underlie every single long-term chronic health challenge. The three points are the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and what I call the adrenal thyroid complex. If you want to simplify it even further, there's just two points. The digestive system and the blood sugar system because the adrenal thyroid complex responds subsequent to blood sugar changes and digestive health issues. So really, there's only two things that underlie all health challenges. You want simple? Here's simple. The digestive system and the blood sugar system. That's simple for you. After your, uh, your digestive system becomes whacked down and after your blood sugar system is thrown off, then you get into adrenal thyroid issues, your adrenal glands being your stress glands and your thyroid being your regulation energy, distribu energy distributing gland. Certainly there's a connection between hypothyroidism, poor thyroid functioning, and disease. Certainly there's a relationship between excessive adrenal stress and disease. But really the bottom two, the bottom two points in the triangle are really where you want to concentrate, and that is the blood sugar system and the digestive system. It's true about all health challenges, including heart disease. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to the bright side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will return right after this break. Don't go away. are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you, and we'll get your calls here in just a moment. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about statin drugs, or if you want to wean yourself off your statin drugs, or any meds, and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our True Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel if you're dealing with dark spots, melasma, hyperpigmentation. Retinol is your go-to skin lightening ingredient. There's really not a lot of ingredients you can use topically to lighten the skin. Hydroquinone is the gold standard in prescription skin lightening, but it's really nasty, really toxic. I used to have to make, uh, in my pharmacy, in my compounding pharmacy, I used to have to make high concentrations of hydroquinone solutions for lightening the skin. I used to wear a mask and have to do it under a hood because the stuff was so toxic. 
salicylic acid, which is similar to hydroquinone. That has some skin lightening properties, but nothing is more important than retinol. Retinol is a vitamin and it will lighten the skin just as well as any other, as any prescription drug. And you'll get anti-aging benefits, anti-acne benefits, skin conditioning benefits from retinol as well. You do need high concentrations and that's why I created my truth. Retinol 5% gel, also made with 25% premium lipophilic, stable, very powerful and effective vitamin C. You're never going to see that anywhere, folks. And of course, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, surfactants, emulsifiers, thickeners, or uh, perfumes in our Truth Skin Health products. You can check them out at truthtreatments.com, Truth Transdermal C, Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel, all at truthtreatments.com. Okay, from the University of Sterling, not all muscle building supplements are equal. This was a study that was published in the journal uh, Frontiers in Physiology. They showed that while something called BCAA supplements stimulate muscle building response in individuals after they lift weights, there may be other nutritional supplements that are just as important as the BCAAs, and those include what are called essential amino acids. So the BCAAs, your branch chain amino acids, those are super important for building muscle, but you need everything. You need all your amino acids, even the non-BCAA amino acids, specifically something called arginine, another one called glutamine. We've talked about glutamine as being a part of glutathione. Glutamine and arginine are two incredibly important amino acids that are, uh, that are vital to the muscle building process. And you don't have to be a weightlifter to want to build muscle. Muscle building is one of the most important strategies for folks who are dealing with cardiovascular disease, with heart health disease, because much of heart health depends on muscle tissue. That's why creatine, which is uh, everybody knows, or a lot of people know that creatine is an important muscle building supplement. It's also important for cardiovascular health. If you're dealing with heart disease, you want to prevent heart disease, more important than using a statin drug is making sure you're getting enough protein, especially muscle building protein, like the branched chain amino acids, which you'll find in whey in the longevity, keto, uh, uh, longevity slender FX, as well as keto FX proteins. Whey protein being a great source of the branched chain amino acids. By the way, the branched chain amino acids are also very helpful as weight loss aids in addition to being important for muscle building. And then you also want to make sure you're getting enough arginine, a conditionally essential amino acid, not only important for muscle building, but also helps secrete growth hormones, so it has anti-aging effects, anti-aging properties, and also very important for helping the body process sugar. You can find, uh, you can get arginine powder pretty easily at any health food store. It tastes awful, 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 awful. So if you're going to put it in a smoothie, which is what I do with my arginine, make sure you cover up that, cover up the taste, or don't use a whole bunch. I use about half a teaspoon of arginine in my smoothie every day. But I've also got uh, all kinds of other amino acids, and uh, I use my bone broth protein, sometimes my keto effects and slender effects with my arginine. Glutamine is also very, very important. Glutamine powder doesn't have any taste. It's really inexpensive, and you get all kinds of all kinds of accessory benefits in addition to being important for muscle building. Glutamine is, of course, a raw material for the production of glutathione, which we will continue to talk about on our next Bright Side episode. All right, one more here, and then we'll get your calls. This is from the journal Cell Host and Microbe. Diabetes causes, causes a shift in the oral microbiome that fosters gum disease. According to the study, this is from the University of Pennsylvania, researchers found that bacteria that live in the mouth are affected by diabetes, causing a shift into toxic bacteria. Yeah, there's like millions of species. There's probably a million different species of bacteria, and only about 1,400 of them are toxic. The vast majority of germs or bacteria are non-toxic, and they live, lots of them live in our bodies. They live in our, we talk about the ones that live in our intestine all the time, but they also live in our mouth. They're also in our respiratory tract. They're in our nasal passages. You even have bacteria, good bacteria, friendly bacteria in your eyes. They're all over the body. Some of them, very few of them actually, are toxic, and diabetes causes a shift in, uh, in uh, bacteria from toxic back from uh, healthy bacteria, good bacteria, to toxic bacteria in the mouth, and this highlights the relationship between the second point of the triangle of disease and the first point on the triangle of disease. This is how diabetes and intestinal health or the health of the microbiome are connected. Blood sugar changes will change bacteria. 
blood sugar changes will shift bacteria, whether it's in the mouth or it's in the respiratory tract or it's in the digestive tract, from good bacteria into bad bacteria, and it works the other way around. Bacterial changes can cause blood sugar changes. This is that bottom point on the triangle of disease, the relationship between the digestive system and the blood sugar system and vice versa between the blood sugar system and the digestive system via the microbiome. All right. And what all this means, by the way, is if you have diabetes or you're concerned about diabetes or you want to prevent diabetes or you have prediabetes, get yourself on the nightly essence. Use fermented foods. Focus on intestinal health. Eat more fiber. Eat, uh, drink more veggie juices. Eat more vegetables. Use your ultimate enzymes. These are the strategies. These are true strategies that will help you stabilize your blood sugar, prevent diabetes, and prevent the secondary health illnesses and secondary health challenges that follow diabetes. All right, 844 is our number. Let's go to Texas and welcome Don to the bright side. Good morning, Don. Uh, good morning, Ben. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. What's I'm a, going on? I'm a, I'm a 65-year-old male, okay. and I've had hep C for 30 years. Um, okay. I've been I've been very careful about it. I take uh, NAC. I take selenium. I take uh, Good for alpha you. lipoic. Uh, Are you I've asymptomatic? Would you Would you? I don't mean to interrupt. Sorry. Are you asymptomatic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't really have any symptoms except I have swelling feet sometimes. Okay. You know they swell up, uh, and I've been taking uh, serapeptase, which seems to help that. I take that at okay. night in the morning. Um, the swelling so that, feet are telling helps. me the the swelling feet is a sign. It's not a you know it's obviously not life threatening to have swelling feet, but it's a sign you're not circulating. Your blood's not circulating correctly. Right. It's a sign of sluggishness of the blood. Now this can involve the liver. If the liver is congested, that can do it. Um, and I don't know. You say you're asymptomatic, but it seems like you would have other symptoms if you really indeed had congested congested or fatty liver. Uh, you would have other symptoms. Any skin problems? I do. Yeah, okay. I have. Right. I have pe peeling on uh, on my feet, and you know. Okay. All right. How's your height to weight, Don? Uh, I'm six three, and I weigh one seventy. Okay. Have you always been lean? Yes. Are you working out? Yeah, and I and I work out regularly with weights. So. Okay. I'm guessing you got a circulation problem, and it could ha it could absolutely have to do with the liver. You got to start treating yourself like a diabetic. Hey, got to take a break. Can you hang on, Don? Yes, yes. Okay, hang on. Okay. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will return on the bright side right after this. On the bright side, Pharmacist Ben here, and we do have lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben, and you're listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com as well. We're talking to Don in Texas. Are you there, Don? I am. Okay, so I'd be looking at uh, blood sugar would be the first thing that I would think about. Um, and that is because it sounds like you've got some clogging and some circulatory issues after you have, a, if you have a liver problem, if you have hepatitis, an inflamed liver, that makes sense uh, because the liver, uh, blood is, is going through the liver. When the liver becomes congested, it's very easy for it to become, for the blood flow to become a little bit slow, if you will, and that can cause fluid to leak out at the extremities as you're describing your uh, swelling feet. It can also cause skin problems. I'd be thinking about uh, about blood sugar first and foremost. That means use your sweeties, keep your carb intake as, as low as down, as little as possible. Refined carbs, that is. Vegetable carbs are great, but uh, refined carbs, breads, pasta, cereals, those kinds of things. And then using, uh, in addition to the sweeties, your ultimate selenium, the B-complex, potassium, arginine, we talked about that earlier. These are all in the interest of keeping your blood sugar stable. More fiber, especially after you eat sweet.
sweets or bready kinds of foods. Fiber can help flush out, tox, uh, flush out sugars, minimizing their toxicity. You might also want to, uh, if you're not already doing aerobic exercises like running, improving circulation. I, I don't know if you're doing weight, what kind of exercises you're doing, but I, things I, that, I swim. I swim a mile three or four times a week. Okay, well, it, you, that's a lot. That's that's pretty good workout right there. Um, yeah. So it's kind of unusual with all the kicking you're doing that you'd be have those that kind of swelling. That tells me there's if you're swelling in the lower extremities and you're swimming twice a week, you, you may have some some issues there with your circulation because that should take care of it. Uh, deep yeah. breathing can help. Deep breathing might help. If you're constipated or you have any kind of digestive issues, those really need to be corrected. The fiber will help you there. And there is a relationship between uh, blood pooling in the extremities and constipation. Both have to do with sluggish blood. So if you find that that's a problem, connect your issues, your digestive issues to specific foods, then eliminate those foods. Make sure you're, you're doing fiber every day. I like, you've probably heard me talk about my flax beverage, flax and chia beverage. That's a great way to, have, to improve your blood sugar as well as improve your bowel movements and, and intestinal health. Don't forget your probiotics, your, your nightly essence, excuse me, as well as fermented foods and vegetable juices. Focus. Long story short, I'd be focusing on blood sugar and I'd be focusing on digestive health. What, tell me a little bit about your skin issues, by the way. You said peeling. Um, it's, a, it's, it's the lower legs, they peel. Okay. And, okay. Um, you know, I, and I'm always working on athlete's foot or something like that. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, cal- That's not uh, quite a skin problem, but the peeling is a skin problem. Those are all indicative yeah. of, bl- of blood sugar issues, secondary okay. to, to circulation. That's where I'd be focusing. All right, Don? Are, are you from... Are you familiar with Harvoni uh, for... Yes, I think that's the the biggest scam ever. You know, nobody really knows if you have... Nobody's ever really seen the hepatitis C virus. They assume it's a virus when you have hepatitis, and they find Uh antibodies, but nobody's ever really seen the virus, and there's a lot of controversy around it. What's not controversial is the fact that Harvoni is ridiculously expensive. And it's yeah. like, what is it, $100,000 a year? Something like absurd, the, the amount of money that they want you to spend on Harvoni. I would not be paying. It, to me, it's much ado about nothing, hepatitis C. It's more about the, it's more about the hepatitis than the C. Hep, the C is the supposed virus. The hepatitis right. is the inflamed liver. The inflamed liver is the problem. And given how most of us live our lives, whether we think we're healthy or not, we're still breathing the air. We're still drinking the water. You know, it makes sense that our, we would be dealing with inflamed livers. Hepatitis means inflamed liver, and that makes sense. And it seems much more likely to me that, considering the fact that nobody's ever seen the hepatitis C virus, it seems much more likely to me that hepatitis is more about inflamed liver secondary to our lifestyle than uh, than the C and then the, vi- the the virus that's associated with that. Now, Harvoni does have anti-inflammatory properties, and that can help you. But there's other things you could do that are cheaper, that are uh, just as effective, if not more effective, that are non-toxic, that don't require medical intervention, that can help you with your liver, namely reducing your sugar intake, treating yourself like a, diab- like a diabetic, changing the way you eat, you're already exercising, that's great, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation nervous system, oxygen is a major, uh, just deep breathing to get more oxygen is a major strategy for improving circulation, and again, it's lifestyle based, and that's what you want to focus on first, I'm not a big believer in Harvoni, to answer your question. Okay. All right, Don. Okay, thanks so much. T- take yep. care, buddy. All right, good luck. Okay, let's go to my friend, the UG. Underwear guy. What's up? Where you been, John? Hey, good morning. I'm up in Wyoming, right above you, actually. All right. Are you driving? Uh, No, I park. Give out your website, Underwear Guy. I love it. Tell tell the folks I think can get a hold of you. (laughs) What is your website? It's it's, it's www.theunderwearguy.com. And why do you call yourself the Why do you call yourself the underwear guy? Tell your story real quick. Uh, you know, it's it's just a joke. I wish I wouldn't have called myself that, but I'm committed now. <laughs> All right. Um, well, why Why did you call and, yourself and, that? Well, because I work out in my underwear. I wear very colorful boxer shorts. I live, I literally live in a truck, as all truck drivers do. So. I get up in the morning, curtains are closed. Uh, I have a bed, I have a small place to stand up. I'm in my boxer shorts, I start my workout. You know, start touching my toes, stretching, get in my bed, doing my, I do, I have about an hour workout that I do every day. In your truck, and, uh, you do this in your yeah, truck, an hour workout. I, do, I challenged myself for a year that I was gonna lose weight, I was gonna get in shape, I was gonna do something that every truck driver was capable of doing. They have a truck, that's it. They're not gonna get out and walk. They're not gonna get out and jog. So I've gotta develop something that can be done right inside their truck. And that's what I did. Um, I dropped 50 pounds in about 
six, eight months. Uh, got the six pack wrinkles, I call them, six pack abs. Yeah. I got nice, you got a six got pack nice, going. I got a six pack going. And if you look at my uh, The Underwear Guy on Facebook, a picture of me, that's my front page. Yeah. Um, that's the way I'm built right now. Um, I have weights in my truck. I have about three dumbbells now. In the last six, eight months, I started adding weights to my protocol. And, uh, you know, I just tried to prove to people that you don't need a, a gym membership. You don't need a stair stepper. You don't need any of these things. They all help. They're all good. But if you live in a truck like most truck drivers do, you can get the results that you need to get right beside your truck in your underwear. And how old are you, underwear guy? I'm just getting ready to turn 66. Oh, happy birthday. And you got a six pack. And you're 66 in a six pack. That should be your new website 66 in a six pack. I, I know. I keep thinking of, of, of new ones because the underwear guy just keeps provoking these weird questions. Do 66 in a six pack. 66 in a six pack. Uh, there you go. There you I go. Like now, that. I, now I just got to hold on to them. Uh, listen, I have a family member that's got something called levator syndrome. I just looked it up. Um, it's muscle spasms in the pelvis. Uh, right. They can't really sit like we do. They have to kind of sit on their tailbone to alleviate pain. Um, how, old, how old is he? It's a she, and I would guess that she's probably in her late 40s, early 50s. Oh, that's way too young. Uh, that's and she started, it started off really as, as an intestinal problem, and they kind of got that worked out with, uh, you know, with probiotics and with... Uh, what do you mean by you know, intestinal whatever. problem? What do you mean by intestinal well, problem? Well, she had sores. on the, they, they went up inside of her, um, her colon, and they found she, little sores and pus okay. and things like that. So, you know, so then they got her on uh, fermented foods and different. She went to a holistic doctor. And it improved, and, her, improved her digestive digestive symptoms? And, yes, it did. But the levator, the, the pain and the discomfort and the muscle spasms down in her, in, in her pelvis haven't gone away. Okay. So here's, here's what I'd be looking at. It sounds like malabsorption. Uh, spasms and contractions usually, uh, can involve deficiencies in electrolytes and B vitamins. Your electrolytes and your B vitamins, electrolytes meaning potassium, cal mostly potassium, calcium, sodium, and, uh, and uh, magnesium. Those are involved in how muscles fire. And when muscles are, are, are cramping up or spasming, it, has a lot to do, it can have a lot to do with the deficiencies in these electrical substances that are involved in firing. Uh, uh, after you have intestinal issues, even if you take care of your intestinal issues, you can still have scarring and this can, or adhesions, and this can kind of impair how much of those, how how effectively electrolytes get into the blood. Likewise with the B complex. Beyond tangy tangerine is liquid. It's a, ra a way to rapidly increase the absorption of electrolytes and B vitamins, and that'd be the first thing that I would be doing. The second thing is essential fats. Fats are also involved in how nerve cells and muscle cells do their business. Uh, your ultimate EFAs are probably a good idea. Uh, and then also using her ultimate enzymes with her meals and with her supplements. Supplement with her meals and use ultimate enzymes when she's taking her supplements and she's eating her food. That'd be kind of how I would be looking at underwear guide. There's a few more things too, um, but we're just out of time. If you want, send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there and I'll help you out personally. Underwear guy, I got to motivate. Thank you so much for your call. And thank you so much to all of you for listening, for calling, for writing. I appreciate all you guys. We'll be back at you on Monday with more good health information on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Fan. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.